In this video I want to control the motor's speed using this pedal. Right now I just have it hooked in series with the battery and the motor. And if I press it down to the maximum, it begins to work somewhat. But this thing's not rated for 91 watts of energy. That's how much energy is getting pushed through it. So instead of using this to actually reduce the voltage, I'm going to use this isolated gate bipolar transistor or IGBT to control the speed and the pedal will be used to bias the gate so let's do that here's the data sheet for the IGBT it's capable of 50 amps at 600 volts and under applications it states it's good for DC motor controls which I'm using it for so an excellent part to use for motor control I removed this from a microwave oven. It controlled the oscillation of the transformer. So here's the schematic I made for the motor control. You can see the pedal is on the left and there's a variable resistor there as well to bias the gate properly. And that's connected to the gate of Q1, which is the IGBT. And then the motor is above that. And here's that schematic in reality. So. Here's the variable resistor, here's the pedal, here's the IGBT, here's the battery, and then here is the motor. So if I press down on the pedal, I have a decent range of control over the speed, and the pedal no longer gets hot. Now the heat sink here gets quite hot, so I'll have to get a fan to cool it off if I'm going to use it for long durations. One nice thing about this little circuit I built is if I really wanted to, I can get a massive amount of speed out of this just by increasing the bias point on the IGBT, so here we go. So that's probably shaking the camera a bit, and you can see this thing moving a lot. So that's just to give you an idea of how nice this little circuit is. I mean, it's not complicated at all, but it's driving a massive amount of power. All right, well, thanks for watching.